Hello, and welcome to this Zscaler Data Protection Breakout. I am Peter Sabo, and it is my pleasure to showcase our latest innovation around the topic of ML Power Data Discovery today. Imagine the following scenario, something that is all too common nowadays. We have our CISO, Jack, who urgently needs to launch an initiative to safeguard their company's sensitive data, in our case, triggered by news of a serious breach with customer data exposed, regulatory investigation underway. He gets in touch with his security architect, Mike, and tests him as part of his new data protection program to rapidly assess what the organization's most sensitive data types are and how people are working with these, where the data ends up going, whether inside or outside the organization. With traditional approaches, such a requirement would have resulted in the need to have large IT teams available and potentially to deploy additional infrastructure in the environment. As part of the effort, the team would have to define complicated policies with complex detection patterns in an effort to gain visibility of how people are working with sensitive data. Something that could take anywhere from weeks to months, even under the best of circumstances, and result in a frustrating experience for all involved. Going back to when Jack first called Mike, imagine if Mike had a zero-touch option at his disposal, which would allow him to have the data at his fingertips and provide these to Jack while they are still on the call. With a solution providing instant visibility, he would be able to share not only the different types of sensitive data employees are working with on a day-to-day -day basis, but also where such collaboration takes place and the people participating to the greatest extent. Exactly the type of information Jack required without the need for tedious policy creation. All this and more through the power of sophisticated AI and ML technologies. To expand on our story, what if such a solution could also provide insight into changing trends related to the types of sensitive data that are most prevalent or help you spot outliers? We believe such a solution could truly kickstart data protection programs and dramatically reduce the time it takes for such initiatives to become effective and start demonstrating true value. It is exactly such a solution that we are now introducing called ML Power Data Discovery within our platform. Our ultimate goal is to dramatically simplify data protection programs by allowing administrators to sidestep some of the hardest parts of such initiatives, namely manually defining a high number of policies with complex keyword and regular expression detection patterns. With that, let me give you a sneak peek of how this will look in practice. When you open a dashboard, you are immediately greeted by a high-level overview and key metrics about the different types of data being consumed in the organization, as well as some statistics and trends of whether the data found itself in sanctioned or unsanctioned destinations. Toward the bottom, we see a list of users who have worked on the most amount of sensitive data, a timeline view of the different data types, and the top applications involved. These can help with spotting changing trends very quickly. For instance, if we see a sudden increase in the number of legal documents, such as we have here, it may prompt us to have a discussion with the legal department about what has changed in terms of how they are working with sensitive data and how to best go about safeguarding said data you know, going forward. The solution also allows us to drill down into the data and have a closer look at the different categories the SaaS applications and destination is involved. So here, the solution also allows us to drill down into the data and have a closer look at the different data categories, the SaaS applications or destinations involved, as well as the sanctioned or unsanctioned nature of these, and also whether these are of you know, more risky or less risky types indicated you know, by these dots here that you see green, yellow, and red. At this level, we also have a view of the users who have had the most dealings with this sensitive data. When we switch over to the policy view, we can see that we were able to have all this insight without a single policy deployed. How can organizations leverage ML Power Data Discovery to create or enhance data protection programs? So, the way we can think about it and you know why we believe that this capability would be highly beneficial for both new as well as existing data protection programs is really tied to the various challenges involved with you know first of all starting set programs as well as you know keeping these programs running you know efficiently and making sure that they are focused on the right priorities when it comes to you know which data uh, the organizations need to protect 
So if I were you know, the, the practitioner and responsible, you know, for a new data protection program, the the way this this you know dashboard would immediately help me is by really showing me you know what types of sensitive data are being consumed in the organization. So rather than you know me having to go out to the various departments. I'm really blind just asking them, you know, do you have any sensitive data or how are you going about, you know, protecting your sensitive data now? What are your you know, policies around that? How can we help you protect said data? Here, you know, I have a view immediately of the diff different types of, um, you know, sensitive information that, you know, is being worked on in the organization. And that helps me prioritize my approach as well. So in this case, you know, I could say that, you know, maybe um, I would be most concerned about, you know, some of the legal documents or, or some of the financial documents, you know, technical documents, etc. Um, and then going beyond that, I'm able to also drill down and look at some additional details in terms of, you know, how those document types are being worked with on a day-to-day -day basis. Now that we are in the drill down view, this provides us great with great visibility in terms of the various you know, document types, but also the applications involved. So for instance, you know, here I can take a look at the, you know, the, the kind of the top ways that these um, real estate type documents are being collaborated on, right? A lot of it is being shared via just general browsing, as we can see here, but there are certainly a number of SaaS applications involved as well. So for instance, you know, I can take a look at Gmail here, which seems to be the top application that this document type is being shared through. So I, I can immediately prioritize Gmail as one of the SaaS applications and one, one of the candidates for new policies in terms of, you know, how I want to control, you know, um, the way people are collaborating with, with said data. So going beyond that, you know, we, we can take a look at the various you know, users who are working with the data as well and the sensitive information. So while we don't really see anything too much out of the ordinary here, you know, in certain cases you could spot outliers. So let's say if someone, you know, has been, you know, working with 10 times the amount of data than, you know, the, the, the second person, etc. So that might give us an indication, okay, you know, let's take a closer look there, how that user is, you know, um, working. Are they compliant with the various policies? Are they perhaps doing some, or some oversharing? Or who knows, maybe even something more risky. So beyond, um, beyond this, we also have a great view of the riskiness of said applications, right? So what we see as these little dots here, the yellow, the green, and the red, indicate the risk factors, the risk scores associated with these SaaS applications determined by um, our CASB solution. So this is something that can also steer us in certain directions, you know, with our plans. We can see, okay, um, you know, uh, most of these ap applications seem to be okay, uh, you know, with maybe slight risks involved, but there's certainly, you know, a very, very risky one as well, more toward the bottom, um, which we may want to tackle. So first of all, we can, you know, hop over to our CASB, um, you know, uh, solution and take a look at, okay, why this application is uh, has been determined to be uh, this risky. Um, and then also, um, you know, get in touch with the users who are working, you know, through that application. We see there's only a single one here, so that should be simple enough for to get in touch with them and, you know, um, recommend them to use one of the sanctioned uh, methods of working with data in our company. With this level of visibility, we really are in a great spot to start a data protection program because we are able to prioritize, you know, where we, where we start. So this is one of the key aspects of it and what many organizations find you know the most challenging as they get started with such programs it's really something that pops up you know in, in conversation only almost on a daily basis where um, customers find this aspect of of these initiatives you know quite challenging um, and they don't really know you know where to begin like how do they even go about starting you know such programs so again this is a great way by having this visibility and being able to prioritize as for you know, organizations with existing programs, um, what all this you know, information, as well as you know, the, what we can see on the overview screen and the different trends you know, show, all this uh, really helps to spot you know, what is being missed, 
what is not being covered by existing policies, right? Maybe, you know, we don't have policies for insurance type data and we see, you know, a sudden rise of those types of documents in the organization. So that would indicate, okay, let's plug that gap immediately. You know, let's make sure that those types of uh, sensitive information are also, you know, getting protected. So this dashboard and, and all this information in here, you know, is really not something that you are only able to leverage, you know, as you are starting your program again, or, you know, to, to kind of, um, you know, um, see what you need to, you know, reprioritize, you know, every once in a while. Um, this is essentially live data, right? So this is something that can help you, you know, fine tune your data protection programs on an ongoing basis as well. Um, that's, um, you know, something that we believe will be very, very powerful and useful for organizations to, to, to truly enhance their programs on an ongoing basis, uh, you know, just by the nature of the ability, you know, to, to spot outliers and various changing trends very, very quickly. To summarize, what I've shown today is how organizations, you know, embarking on a journey of starting a new data protection program, as well as others with existing ones, um, can utilize this ML Power Data Discovery platform to essentially help you know, with their use cases. Again, whether it's starting the new program and having all this data being available you know, live um, without any policies in place, powered by you know, sophisticated ML and AI technologies, um, just being able to prioritize where they start their programs you know, will be a, a great benefit to many organizations you know, with their um, with their initiatives to get started on this data protection path, and then also for organizations with existing programs, you know, we believe that having the ability to come back to this console, you know, regularly and looking at you know how the different you know trends are changing, you know, where certain types of you know new sensitive data types pop up, you know, or the different you know users. Or, or applications, um, you know, become more dominant in terms of, you know, um, what percentage of, of sensitive data they are dealing with, you know, this will be all quite useful in terms of being able to, you know, plug any holes in terms of the various, you know, policy, um, policy um, frameworks of their organizations, right, and policy sets to make sure that all types of, you know, sensitive documents um, and all types of scenarios are really protected, right? No matter, you know, what kind of data we're talking about, what kind of application is involved or who the users are who are working with said data. As part of the broader Zscaler platform, ML Power Data Discovery is your key to getting a jump start with your data protection program. Thank you for your attention. In case this topic has piqued your interest, please don't hesitate to get in touch with us. We hope to see you among the first to try out this new capability. To learn more, visit our launch resources page.